athletes grappling for state titles in Bakersfield in the 150-pound class. Matty Konopkov, Lacosta Canyon, gets the pin in the first period to advance to the finals, but she loses in the in a, by fall in the first period to Amet Elor of College Park. In the 152-pound class, Tyler Baggett of Rancho Bernardo defeats Poway's Aaron Gadara to advance to the finals, but Baggett is unable to escape in sudden death and loses a sunny Santiago Jr. of St. John Bosco, 2-3. And then we finish up at the 145-pound weight class where the Broncos' Jaden Abbas faces Kale Valencia of John Bosco. Abbas with a takedown on the low single. Abbas with a tilt for back points. Abbas is now a two-time state champion with an 8-7 victory. Like it was a very anticipated match. Um, I, I, I tried to go out of firing as good as I can possibly, and uh, it, it felt good to come out with the W. I know the momentum was kind of shifting uh, in his favor towards the end, but uh, staying tough on my part and it out. It feels good. All those emotions are genuine. Um, it's been a long road, you know, starting ever since I was a baby, uh, shooting, you know, it's in wrestling's in my blood. And uh, last high school, last high school match, it, it hits home uh, pretty hard. So uh, those emotions were just genuine and kind of, kind of took me over. Wow, congratulations on the boys' side in the open division. No hoops now. Torrey Pines taking on Foothills Christian for all the marbles. Before the game, the CIF awarding the three Battle of the Fans winners, Scripps Ranch, Sage Creek, and of course the Blue Crew from San Marcos. The uh, Sage, uh, the Blue Crew right there. Third quarter, the Falcons, Bryce Pope assists his brother Michael with the long shot. Fourth quarter of the Knights, Derek Carter Hollinger dishes to Yasin Garam, who scores two of his 13. Carter Hollinger with a game high 19. Torrey Pines responds as Noah Avera drains three of his team high 15. Falcons Bryce Pope scores 11 more. He makes five of six from the charity stripe and collects 11 rebounds. Final 51 47. Torrey Pines, your open division champions. I mean, it's the best feeling ever. Uh, it's the culmination of everything that we've done at Torrey Pines. And it's just awesome to get all of Coach all of his first open division CIF title. We've been training this since, of this since little, we were little kids, so it's it's an amazing feeling. They're local neighborhood kids, and it's just so great to see that their dreams came true tonight. Open division girls champion at UCSD Mission Hills taking on Cathedral Catholic first quarter. Of the Grizzlies, Catherine Bius with the uh, nice move for two of her 19. Third quarter of the Dons, Maisie Harris gets the steal and scores two of her 13. She also collected a game-high 16 rebounds. In the fourth quarter, teammate Isun Brady muscles her way to the basket and scores a team-high 16. Cathedral wins it 54-44. The Dons, open division champions. You know, I didn't want to leave anything on the court. I wanted to keep fighting, so I had to fight through it, you know, do it for my team, and I'm just... I'm just so excited and proud of this. Oh, I was just so happy. We worked so hard for this. We all prepared every practice, every game, you know, so this was just amazing, just having the victory at the end. All right, to remap, we go. Two girls, are D2 girls championship between Grossmont and Carlsbad. Carlsbad junior Kristen Young with 12 points, including that baseline move. Then it's teammate senior Aria Pagan, who uh, pulls up for three, count it. And then freshman Alexa... Makisko gets a game high 20, including that three ball. Lancers, your D2 champs, 64 42 winners. We've come so far, um, and just to win, it felt great. Everybody just is so involved and so helpful to me as a freshman, and all the seniors just really know how to play basketball. And it's a great school. It's a really great school. Boys Division to Carlsbad in this one as well, up against RBV. Rancho Buena Vista senior Patrick McLaughlin with a game high 24. That's an NBA three. But Carlsbad counters with Carter Pausha, 14 points. And junior Jalen Nelson adds 20 more. Lancers make it back to back. Boys and girls win. A Lancer sweep, if you will. 72 54, your final score. We wanted to come out and show them what we could do because we felt like. We felt like we wanted to get this win because they're ranked higher than us, so we wanted to show them that we were the better team. But they definitely played well. It was definitely a good competition. It's amazing. I can, words can't even describe how happy we are as a team and all the hard work we put in. So it's a great feeling to finally come out and win another ring. All right, D1 championship on the soccer pitch. 60th minute, the Titans' Andrew Van Ewen Hoven gets the rebound off the corner kick and kicks it into the far side of the net. 
Game, uh, we're tied at one. We go into overtime where the Wolverines' Lorenzo Paroline gets the pass and redirects the ball into the net to give the Wolverines the golden goal. Final 2-1 Westview. They take the D1 title. Uh, that was just icing on the cake. They, they were a good team. We played them twice in league. Unfortunately, lost to them twice, so it's good to beat them here. It's the perfect ending to a season. We had some troubles in the beginning, but this is a perfect ending, too. All right, D1 girls matchup. This is a rematch of last year's open division. This is Eastlake taking on Steel Canyon in the daylight. 63rd minute, Eastlake's Brittany Boot scores to put the Titans ahead 2-1. The Cougars respond on a beautiful cross to Amelia Hahn, who heads it into the tying goal. That's a great effort. The Cougars, uh, we go to penalty kicks. Hahn with a chance to win it, finds the back of the net. Steel Canyon, party like rock stars, kids. The final 3-2, Steel Canyon and penalty kick. Absolutely insane. After two coming through CIF twice now in PKs, losing in PKs, and we win our third time, it's three times a charm. I couldn't have done it without my team and my coaches and everyone who supported me. My family, everyone. I love Steel. I love my team. D2 boys soccer matchup. Oceanside facing off against Mission Hills. 13th minute Oceanside's Jose Aguirre. Make that Aguirre. He gets the free kick and... George Silva scores on the header, 1-0 Oceanside. Then in the 80th minute, Mission Hill, Zeke Mata fires on net, but Christian Martinez gets one of his two saves on the day as the Pirate defense pitches the shutout. 1-0 your final Oceanside D2 champions. It means everything. I mean, we worked hard for it. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless, pretty much. Yeah! D2 final at Hilltop High. This is Grossmont and Valhalla. Girls action. 17th minute. Grossmont captain Mia Foster scores on the penalty, cook, penalty kick. Foothillers take a 1-0 lead. Then in the 85th minute, Grossmont has a corner and Carly Kennedy gets ahead on it to score. The Lady Foothillers section champs the final 3-1. It means just so much because we work so hard and just it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Rosemont, how does it feel to be champion? And in water polo up in Santa Ana, Coronado comes up short in Division Two, but Poway in an all San Diego matchup beats the La Costa Canyon to win the D3 title. Congratulations to one and all. Ticket sales for tomorrow's fleet game soaring on this big.